proud to be a dairy farmer, a food producer, and producing that food whilst caring for the environment. I try to look after this soil the best I can because there's a very complex ecosystem there with all the bacteria and fungi and earthworms. The new Prime Minister in Wales for the first time on a farm near Newport. Joined by President of the National Farmers Union in Cymru and that's John Davies. And obviously we're deeply concerned. We need a deal with the nearest and best market and we're very keen to see that delivered. It's taken 40 years um, to develop and uh, create the, the market that we have in Europe. Um, if we lose that overnight, there is no um, market available elsewhere in the world that we're going to find to take up the excess lambs. 48% tariffs on lamb, for example, uh, eight, over 80% 80 tariffs on beef would just make it unviable for us to export to our biggest market, which is the European Union. If Boris was to walk onto the farm today, what would your message to him be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our main concern is the fact that we may be subject to um, imports that are not to the same production standards of ours. So specifically, we'd be really concerned about hormone-treated beef, chlorinated chicken. These methods of production are illegal here in Wales. The Welsh red meat sector is in a perilous position due to the continuing risk of leaving the EU without a deal. That was the message at a conference held in Llanelwedd by NFU Cymru today. I am frightened of a no-deal Brexit, I'll be perfectly honest with you. If there is a no-deal Brexit, there will be a detrimental effect on this industry, the sheep industry. I want to recognise the enormous contribution which the NFU is making to make sure that farmers in Wales are part of shaping the change for the future. We have very strict cattle controls in place at the moment, but let's look at what's working once again with fresh eyes. Let's take the politics out of it and let's go to science. A few days after we first visited Abby's farm, we were invited back to witness the moment her pregnant cow was killed. All your work is in that animal and to see her being taken away and all I've got left is a piece of paper really to remind me who she is and what she's done. And I think daughter, Desorias, I'm here to talk about the farm led approach, showing how to manage nutrients on your farm and the benefits that delivers. Yeah, well, it seems to me we're a bit of a soft target. Everyone ignores the heavy industry, all the transport, the aviation and everything else and just talks about red meat. But you've got to think of where that red meat comes from. Here in Wales, most of it is produced using grazing animals, utilising the grass that grows naturally in Wales. And it doesn't involve hundreds of food miles. And, and using water that could be used for other things. The water here comes out of the sky on a regular basis. I am producing a raw product that is healthy and nutritious and is there for people to enjoy. Two and a half times less carbon to produce meat in this country than it is for the global average. So I think the message has to be, you know, you support what we produce at home because that's far more friendly for the environment. Well, business, as the and got a demo of carbon, my man got the king got a talent done of it. We did spia that seven the three saviarian. I go saviarian, do it in the saviar and go ahead. what's the lovely thing about this award is that it shows that women can farm and there are plenty of opportunities out there for them. They've just got to have the confidence to go for it. Well, I think every member of our Next Generation group is really switched on, is really passionate about the future of farming.
NFU Cymru is proud to support farmers across Wales producing some of the best quality food in the world. Thank you.